Science 5, Week 6 to 8, Quarter 1. Designing a product out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. You have already accomplished understanding the concepts and acquiring skills in determining the uses of properties that tell whether the materials are useful and or harmful. You have also investigated the materials under the effects of the two conditions where there is presence or absence of oxygen and the application of heat on materials. I hope you enjoyed all the learning tasks or activities while staying at home for your good health and safety. Are you ready in the next journey as a scientist? I hope so. You can do better in the learning task designed for you in this lesson. You can still go back to the properties of the different materials that can be found at home and in your local community. This will help you to recognize the importance of recycle, reduce, reuse, recover, and repair in waste management, and these skills will enable you to design products out of local recyclable solid and or liquid materials in making useful products. Let us start by looking at the pictures of waste materials found in the kitchen and at the home. Examine each picture. Can you recognize the process or way by which you can help to save the environment at home and in the community through waste management? Do you have empty bottles of vinegar, fish sauce, or soy sauce in your kitchen? If you say yes, can you reuse them? Waste management is the process by which materials that have been used broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. These five R's in waste management are very important, especially in this time of pandemic that our way of living has been adversely affected by community quarantine at different levels. If you will reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair materials that have been considered as waste, you can contribute a lot in your environment. Now examine the pictures in our screen. What will you do to show concern for these materials found at home? Another way to manage waste in the environment is to reduce the use of plastics. Plastics are non-biodegradable. You learned in the previous lesson that plastics can live for hundreds of years. Thus, you need to reduce the use of plastics. It is better to bring eco bag for storage and keeping of grocery items. Another way to reduce plastic is to have own tumbler that can be used to limit the use of plastic bottle for drinking. Plastics are also good materials to recycle. Recycle is reusing the same material to make a new product. Plastic bottles can be recycled as flower vase or pencil holder. Do you have computer and or any gadget at home? If yes, there are times that these gadgets or appliances at home are damaged or lose some of its parts. Of course, it is not practical to dispose these materials because they can still be recovered by looking for replacement material that are available in the market hardware or in other stores. If your chest or clothes lost some buttons or have been damaged by wear and tear or materials, you seek the help of your mother to repair these materials. The pictures in our screen can give us the idea to create our own product out of these local materials or use items found at home. Reusing items at home instead of buying new ones can help to reduce waste. In the kitchen, it is better to replace all the single-use eating utensils like styrofoam cups, water bottles, and paper plates with composable or usable, reusable alternatives. You can also bring your own bag in grocery stores and in storing food, durable plastic containers are very practical. Instead of using disposable batteries in running appliances or gadgets, rechargeable batteries are recommended. Repair is to fix something that is broken, damaged, split, or not 
working properly. Example of repairs that you can do at home are sewing the cap of holes in the pocket of your pants. And you can seek help from elders to repair some leak in the faucets, electrical appliances, and cracks in the walls of your house. To reuse some waste in the kitchen, you can collect some materials that can be prepared as organic fertilizer in your garden. This is called composting. Composting is one way to reuse organic material that may otherwise may end up in landfill. In the next pages or in the next lessons, you will be doing activities that will help you design useful products that come from these local materials found at home. In designing useful products, these are some steps and tips that you may follow to come up with rewarding results of your genuine effort and skills making new products out of local use materials. Steps and, st and tips when designing a new product out of local and used materials at home. Number one, determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. Two, study the properties of these local materials or use broken, damaged, or repairable materials. Three, create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some aesthetic sense on them by watching videos. If you are looking for some references that may guide you in creating new materials. For as much as possible, seek help from elders to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycle, recover, repair of materials to design local products that are useful out from these waste materials. To guide you in designing local products in the succeeding learning task, you will be using the rubrics given below. The criteria, content 40%, creativity 20%, usability or functionality 20%, and cost effectiveness of materials used is 20%. You will be graded as outstanding, satisfactory, and fair. For our first learning task, step one is to visit your cabinet or closet. Look for some used t-shirt or clothes that have, been, that have holes or broken buttons or lock. Use thread and needle to repair the holes or put some buttons whenever missing in your clothes. And show your repaired t-shirts or shorts or clothes to your mother or your teacher. And this is the sample for our learning task one. Guide questions. How did you find doing the activity? Did you seek help from elders? If yes, why? What will you do next if you see some missing buttons or there are holes in your shorts or t-shirt? And this can be the answer. Number one, enjoyable. Number two, yes, because needles are sharp, can injure and should be use in extra care and for number three repair or fix it in the succeeding in the succeeding activities you will use the grasp model by begins and McTide in designing product out of local materials and here is a guide on how will you achieve your result in designing new product the grasp is an acronym for goal states the problem or chance that you will resolve Role, explain who you are in the scenario and what you are being asked to do. Audience, your target audience are for whom solving the problem is for or who you need to convince of the validity and success of your solution for the problem. Situation, provides the context of the situation and additional factors that could impede the result of the problem. Product, performance and performance. Purpose, explain the product or performance that needs to be created in its larger, larger purpose. Standards and criteria for success, dictates the standards that must be met and how the work will be judged by the assumed audience. For learning task 2, using the rubrics in the previous activity, design your own product from 
any of the available materials at home that you have recovered which are no longer in use. Write your own simple and easy step to follow on how to make a recyclable materials and present your work to your parents or teachers for evaluation. And this is an example of an output. For learning task number three, materials and tools. Empty glass jar, old paper or calendars with decoration, blue colored paper, yellow, green, orange, black, scissors, tea light candles. Steps number one. Use glue to coat and wrap in your favorite colored paper into the outside of an empty jar. Number two, cut strips of green colored paper, glue them around the top half of the jar. Three, cut red and orange colored paper into circles, glue them around the top half of the jar. Number four, cut two flower shapes in yellow colored paper. Stick them to the front and back of the jar opposite each other. Number five, cover the lip of the jar with a strip green colored paper, glue it to finish it off. And number six, place a tea light inside the jar and you are now ready to light them. Seek help from adults in this step. And this is the sample. And now, you need to complete the statement, I understand that blank and I, un I realize that blank. This could be the answer. I understand that five R's in risk management are very important. I realize that I can contribute a lot in our environment if I will practice the five R. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair materials that have been considered as waste. For our last learning task, Read the grass model below in developing your own product. Use the rubrics below. Goal, there are a lot of leftover foods, old and used paper bags, papers, plastic bottles, plastic sachet of shampoo, candy wrappers, and other waste that accumulate in your garbage bin every day. Your role can be like a gardener or recycler. And the audience, your output output or product will be designed for the benefit of your family while staying at home during this quarantine period. Situation, this school year going to school is not allowed because of pandemic. Thus, home quarantine is declared in Luzon starting March 17, 2020 to prevent the spread of the virus causing COVID-19 while at home. You must help, you must help some member of your family to produce a homegrown vegetable as alternative supply of food. Product process or performance, your skills developed in determining the properties of materials will help you to design your own product or performance-based output to achieve the goals stated above. Standards, you will use the rubrics to exhibit the, exhibit the best output or 100 over 100. And this is the sample. And that ends our lesson from week 6 to 8. Thank you for participating. Have a great day ahead and good luck to your output. Enjoy!